previously on Welcome Wagon. What's that, like crystals or something? No, they're, they're, they're more like painted rocks. Oh, okay. I've got something similar. Ooh. Oh, and oh, what are those? Oh, they're my brother's kidney stones. Oh, <laughs> fabulous. He's dead. Tomorrow's a new day to wash the tears away. Learn a lesson, beat an obsession, spread your wings and try new things. Just hope for the best and plan for the worst. Take a load of what do you say? Because tomorrow's a new day. Welcome to the welcome wagon in the worries for today. Welcome to the welcome wagon. Sit and stand and stand. Come, my friends, jump in the van. Ain't it grand to be the man? Be a friend, a helping hand. Welcome to the welcome wagon. Hello. My name is Detective Azright. Detective who? Azright. Asswipe? No, Azright. Did you just call me an asswipe? Azright. The life they're blinding me made them stop. A S R I P E. S say that again. Right, like a banana. Whatever, asshole. Oh, you morons! So, why don't you begin by explaining your relationship to the victim? We never had a relationship. We were neighbors. I think he tried to kill me. He came into Bucky's Burgers once. Jerk didn't even leave a tip. Hey, you know that little bastard locked me in the fucking trunk of a car? Is this not the second dead body you found at your residence? The first being Armando Reyes? What's that got to do with anything? Hi, I'm Officer Dan. Do you know I also play bass with Wiss? Tell these guys the truth, will you? Wes is guilty. Fuck you, Dad. I don't know, officer. You see, I didn't kill anybody. At the time of the murder, I was possessed by the spirit of Armando Reyes. What? What about you, Wes? Do you have it in you to kill? Look, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. At the time, I was busy killing a bull. I mean, I mean, drinking a beer. And who in the hell is this Armando Reyes y'all keep screaming about? Is Wes capable of murder? Yeah, probably. Fuck Moses. <laughs> Shit. Poor, poor Mr. Stevens. It says here you escaped the mental hospital, but since you were a voluntary patient, I guess you can go. I must call! I must tell Paul! Quickly! These people are a bunch of morons. Oh, oh I just can't believe all oh, the body! I, I saw the body and all! Oh, oh my god! No, 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 no! What, Aaron? Oh, hell no, man. Aaron, Aaron's as sweet as she could be. Man, she's sweet as pie, but... But Vicky? Here's a different story right there. Now let me tell you, that bitch could be vicious. You wanna know who I think killed him? Vicky. The woman's unbound.
balanced. That bitch is lying! She's the one who's unstable! I'm gonna find out who killed this person. Oh, no, 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 no! I'm gonna be on you 24-7, like white on rice. Oh, no! A dead body! Uh, uh, uh. I'll be watching. Surveillance. Cavity searches. The whole works. Welcome Wagon will return after these messages. The following announcement is paid for by the Rexall Rehab Center. Hey folks, this is Rex Rexall, the Rexall Rehab Center, here to ask you, are you addicted to eating your own hair? And cut it out! Hi y'all, this is Cornelius here. I want to say that I once had a raging pornographic and sex addiction. You drinking Barbasol or Windex? I say sober up! Hi, my name is Aspen Meadow and I have an addiction to inanimate objects. Before I came to the Rexall Rehab Center, I was in a pretty serious relationship with a tree. And cut it out! Two, one. Howdy! My name is Cody and I have a fecal philia addiction. And cut it out! I haven't had an erection in months. All thanks to the B. Arthur room they locked me in for about three hours. Thank you so much, Rex. Since spending time at the Rexall Center, I've learned to overcome my addiction, and now I only eat dog fecal matter. I just love your heart. I bet it's worse than your bite. <laughs> Come in today and get 50% off our already low prices. Our prices are so low that you'll think we're on crack, but we're not. Thanks, Thanks Rexall Rehab! Now back to Welcome Wagon. Look, Karen, we need to talk. Yeah, I have something to tell you too. Ugh, Hungry, Ryan? Uh, I got you some spinach and milk. Anyway, what were you saying? This isn't gonna work. We need to end this. So why are you dumping me? Oh, okay, I see. Well, me and Vicky have been talking and we decided that we belong together. Well, I'm glad that you finally made a decision to eat. So, you're not mad? No, mad. Why would I be mad? Who am I to stand in your way? Well, good for you, Aaron. <laughs> so glad you figured out that the better woman won. No hard feelings, Vicky. In fact, I moved on myself, and he's on his way to pick me up right now. So. Oh, well, good for you, Mary. Have a nice life. Too. Hey, baby, come on, let's go. Why oh, you look good today? Let's go. Bye. Keep on pushing. Baby, you looking fun. Don't stop. Bye. <laughs> is Moses Williams and I've been drinking for over 15 years but in this last week I've been clean I haven't had a drop that's very good dude and then you got a problem is half the battle man 
I know, right, man? I'm so glad I met you, Alcohol Anonymous Club. And I'm totally stoked you picked me to be your sponsor, dude. And, man, I had no idea you were looking for a drummer. <laughs> I know, right? It just worked out perfectly. Although, Freddy, I have to admit, being in the old shed without having a drink, man, that's kind of hard. I mean, you know, being here just brings back so many good memories. Well, dude, if you want to start over, you got to trash those memories, man. Ah, uh, but that's going to be hard, man. You see, this bottle, this bottle I got from a gig at Rex's. Oh, man, it's such a good night. Man, let me tell you a little bit. I got to tell you one thing about that night. You got to trash it, though. Uh, all, all, all right. Uh, oh, okay, but look, look, see. <laughs> oh, this bottle. Oh, I've had some good times with this. I, now, I got a really good story to tell you about this one. I can you really... got to trash it, dude. But, I... Uh, uh, Kids, you remember Miss Vicky, don't you? Yes, not really. Well, Miss Vicky's gonna be moving in with us. Yay! We are going to have so much fun together. I mean, I know it's gonna be an adjustment because I don't have kids, but, and you don't have a woman in the house, but we'll figure it out. Yay! We're gonna be best friends! Yay! We're gonna have so much fun raising kids together, Tahine. Yeah, well, catch you later. Uh... Me hungry. Can I play on your phone? I know, what do parents do? Um, chores. That's it. You need to do some chores. Boo. You know what? You could. You could wash my car. I mean, it's got pollen all over it, and it really, the trash needs to be taken out. There's a five in it for you. Ten. Mm, I don't know about that. Okay. Ten. Yay! Make sure you put a crack in my window. What are we going to use to wash Miss Vicky's car? Uh, how about these Brillo pads? That's perfect! Did Miss Vicky say to put a crack in the window? Yeah, she did. What are we going to use to do that? This wrench. Oh shit! Madness is all around us. Huh? It will consume us. Oh, yes. <laughs> My son's gone. Oh, oh Lord yes. Almighty, what am I going to do? Lord Almighty, it's okay. It's oh, okay. Oh, fuck it. I know, I know he was your son. Oh, why the Lord take him, Lord? Oh, my God. You know, the Lord works ah. in mysterious ways like your oh. tight ass. My so, tight ass. Here, take one of you these. You know my ass ain't been tight since 78. Those. I, oh. I don't remember those days, but uh, this might help you remember. Make me remember. remember. Hell, I don't want to remember. Well, I'm trying forget. to forget. forget. Maybe I ought to take two. You should take two if you want to forget. Uh, yeah. two, one is to forget. Ooh, no, two man, this thing feels forget. so much better. You know two what? Forget. Just having it right there makes me feel so know, much better. It, 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 you know, I got two damn kids, and neither one of them paid me when no kind of attention worth the shit. You leave that. You got two children? Yeah, well, I got probably to get more attention more. out of them now that he's gone. What? You should, you should take two more. One for each kid. One, <laughs> two. How many is dead now? It doesn't matter. Ooh. Just keep on attacking it. You, you, you touchy feel, feel it. Touchy feel it. Oh, oh my. I don't Let know. Let me you Hey, this ain't the time for that right now, puppy. I'm sorry. My oh, God, man, my son. Things, Things go through my mind. Things go through my mind. Things. You know what I need? I need one too. I think you should take one. Two. Right in here? Yeah, a little. Yes, no. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late, y'all. You? Late? Yes. I, you, I look my like, you look like Mr. Stevens. 
Oh, he ain't new, Mr. Stevens. That's one another one of my worthless ass sons right there. He looking just like Mr. Stevens. Ah, shit. Well, who's his name? My name is Elijah. Elijah? Uh, oh, hello, I am Mr. Pumpernickel. Oh, uh, that's very Mr. nice. Mr. Pumpernickel, yeah. it's very nice to me. I was very close, very, very, very close, uh, Mr. Stevens. I'm sure you were. Yes, I was. Uh, he I am about to get married. What? Are you tired of being happy? Gosh, damn it, what the yes. hell happened to it, man? Well, love and marriage is a thing. People do it. You know, dumb, do people, it. dumb people. Dumb people. You, know, you know what's the main cause of divorce? Uh, marriage. Marriage. Yes, that's true. That's true. I read this. Don't yes. do it. Got to, who in the hell on. would marry you anyway? You know, this motherfucker who, who couldn't, couldn't get a damn date two oh, weeks could, ago. Get a comes into a couple dollars and all of a sudden he's got he's the jingle jangle? You know. Jingle jangle. He's a do re mi man. Neither <laughs> one of you have mentioned my haircut. Uh, he said, I had never seen you before. If, if, you look like if, Mr. Stevens. I just got it. I mean, if you mean that it looks like ass, then yeah. Hair. I mean, I already noticed that, but I, I didn't really fix it for you. That. You know, who the hell's idea was it to put your brother in a Bucky Burger Cup? Huh? Bucky Burger Cup. Do you know how expensive urns run nowadays? Like, you give a shit. You got plenty of damn money. You got the jingle jingle. I don't see you paying for anything. Hey, Look, don't be mad at me because I ain't got no trophy wife I'm having to pay for all of a sudden draining a hole in my pocket, buddy. No, no, no. <laughs> She's not drain draining your pocket. She's draining something else. <laughs> if she can find it. <laughs> <laughs> if she can get the dingle in the dangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can everyone please be seated? It looks like everyone's here, so we'll go ahead and celebrate this life of... <coughs> okay, he's, he's going to be okay, uh, good buddy. He's going oh, to be okay. Oh, my word. He's in a, he might be in a butter place. His life was cut short, but it's so good to see the three of you here today, all his friends. Let's talk about his life, shall we? That's typical. Let's begin by sharing our wonderful stories of The last time I saw my brother, he dropped off these two kids, took off, left, and I never saw him again. The last time I saw my cousin, he knocked me out in a park, and I woke up tied to a pole with no clothes on. <laughs> Favorite memory? Hmm. I guess the day he dropped me off at the damn home, I didn't think I'd see him again. That was a pretty damn good memory of him, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Thank you all for sharing those wonderful memories of Jack Palance. Now, let's commit him to ashes. <gasps> oh, hey, I, I'll get it. Hang on. <laughs> oh, God. Cleaning your car with a Brillo pad? Uh... Well, I'm glad you're coming around to Freddy. Hey, old. I like the old hippie, man. He's all right, man. You know what? He, for, you know, for an alcoholic, drug addict, you know, he's okay. No, I'm <laughs> just really kidding about that. Nah, nah, see, he's a spot. He was just there for that. fun. See, I owe Rexel everything. You, and Wes, I was talking about overcoming my fears in the AA meeting. You know, Freddie's been convincing me, so I think I just what? need to go on and tell you. What in the world would you be afraid of? 
I don't know if I can do this, Freddy. Give me a little. You, you can do this. No. Motivation. Okay. Feel the positive energy flowing. Oh, wow. oh I feel it. I can feel it, Freddy. But okay, I can do it, Wesson. I want to see. You're right. I do feel a lot better now that I said it. Yeah. I feel so much better. Freedom. Oh. oh. Okay, I mean, I'll tell you what. Try it out. Let's see what happens. All right. No, I'm not holding it for oh. you. Hold it yourself. Oh, okay. Let's see. What do I want to see? You know what? You know, it's a good one. That classic. You know, some Chuck Berry, some Johnny B. Good, you Johnny know? Johnny B. Good? Yeah. How about something yeah. from this century? Ah, uh, you know, I like the very class stuff, man. They that bass line, too. Bass line? <laughs> yeah. I don't even think Chuck Berry had a bass in that thing. <laughs> Did he? I mean, I don't think so. Hey, 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 now, now, listen to this. Now, now quiet. Quiet, like I'm saying, man. Yeah. Hey, he was a cat in his time and got his sack. Is he beneath the trees of the railroad? You like this? <laughs> but see, you see, like this? Hey, hey, look, I'm trying to wow. sing. You're throwing me off, Wesson. Throwing you off? Yeah. Moses, we've been down this road before, haven't we? Hmm? Do I need to pull the tape recording out? I mean, I got it loaded up right here. That was you know? a whole different I Moses. I have never in my life heard such caterwauling. Are you sure? that you want to put us all through this again? Freddy, listen, I'm telling you what, hippie. Even the hippie is going to be on my side when this is over with. God, I'm telling you, you're fighting a losing battle. Why don't you just go on and embrace the fact that Aaron is coming in? She can come in all she wants. She can be my backup singer. I'm not backup. greedy. Backup. I'm not greedy, Wesson. Greedy? Yeah, but oh this is God. a whole new... This I was talking to my AA meeting. I, uh -huh. sung, I didn't just talk. I sung. Some. Yeah, people were tearing up by the time I was done. From the pain they were clapping. in the ear. Well, I mean, it was clapping like... is an involuntary response when you're in such pain. I mean, so what do you say, Wes? What I say is you need to embrace the future, and here she comes right now. You brought my backup singer. I'm glad. So why don't you introduce us, Wesley? Don't be rude. Well, actually, he's got something to tell you. Don't you, think? Yeah. Uh, see, me and this guy here, we've been spending a good little bit of time together. Turns out she's a really, really good oh, singer. Oh, that's, that's perfect. That's yeah, it is perfect, yeah. man. So she's going to be our new singer. So what do you think about that? Yeah, of course she can be the backup singer, you know? <laughs> no, uh, we're going to bring her in to audition as the lead singer. Audition? He is your only competition. You got it in the bag. You ain't got that. No, no, Trust wait. Me. Hold on. Wait, wait. What can she even do? She can sing Alanis Morissette. But what about Metallica? And I know some Pink songs. Oh, no. And, um... Avril Lavigne. Oh, don't. No, no. Oh, Freddie, Freddie, I, I need a drink. I really need one. You gotta be strong, Mo. Oh. And I just remembered, I love Jewel. Jewel? No, oh, oh, God damn it. This has gone way too far. You know, I don't know what the fuck is the problem, man. What's, what's, what's the trouble? What's the trouble with Jewel, man? Don't you like that? The trouble that I want to play in this girl power pussy bullshit. I, what is this? What, what, you don't think you can learn them, man? Is that what, is that what the problem is? I can't learn all those songs that quick with you. No, I want to play the stuff we've been doing. Hold on, hold on. I have an idea. Maybe we can talk to Dan. <laughs> oh, you know, I just, guys, hey, I was just kidding. You know, I just had, a, <laughs> I was <laughs> kidding. I, wanted, oh, I, I just oh, pulled oh, your leg. Oh, I can learn all go. those songs. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I love Atlantis uh -huh. Morrison. I love me some Steve. Hey, you said something about some, uh, a, a pool or something like that? <laughs> yeah, I was just joking. I'm totally, I, I was just joking. So, <laughs> um, does, does anybody want your freshmen want a soda or anything? Oh, yeah, Mo, that'd be great. Can you get me a Diet Coke? Sure. Okay. Yeah, let me, I'll just go get that real <laughs> See, I, I told you he'd see it my way. Yeah, I knew what you Order me around. All I want to do is play a few songs. Now I got If you want a soda, I'll get you a soda. I'll go on and get you a soda. Oh, yeah, it'll be 
I'm so proud of Mo, dude. Oh, that guy hit rock bottom. He's come such a long way. I mean, this guy actually thought he was possessed by an evil spirit. Well, you know, there's a fairly good reason for that. It's because he actually was possessed by an evil spirit. Oh, shit. Yeah, we, we had his exorcism right here in this apartment. This is going to be so much fun. I've never had a wedding before. Do you think I should get Botox before the wedding? Mm, yes. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I knew that the miles were starting to show on my face. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Elijah. I have never dreamed I'd be living in such a nice house with all these nice fancy clothes and with a brand new Cadillac. So, um... How long did you work for the escort service? Um, about a year, a year and a half. Did you enjoy it? Hell no! I was ready to retire. That's why I quit and said yes that moment you asked me to marry you. Oh, look at this. The welcome wagon property is for sale. That's where my brother was killed. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know, why don't we buy the welcome wagon? Why? That place is a dump. I know, I know it's a dump, but we could tear it down, and then guess what? We could build a gym or a bowling alley right there on that property. I mean, yeah, that might be a pretty good idea. Gyms and bowling alleys are perfect places to pick up beefy studs. Speaking of beefy studs, where's Raul? Um, he'll probably be back in another hour. He's got to clean the pool. To hell with the pool! He needs to spend the night with me tonight! You had him last night! Well, you had him this morning! Don't be stingy with the pool, boy, Elijah. May I remind you that page 6, clause 17 of our marriage contract clearly states that I get first dibs to all tube steak action up to and including the household staff. You're a bitch. So are you. Well, I guess I'll just go do some shopping. Go kill some time. But while I'm gone, don't tie a roll up too bad. I'd like to have some decent sex when I get home tonight. I promise I'll try. And all... Keep your little secret. Hi, Dean. you and dumbass look alike. Well, you should be sorry because I'm gonna buy this place and I'm gonna tear it down and all you and them stupid stinking kids will have no place to live. <laughs> well, hey, baby. Looks like you're in the band now, huh? But, uh, listen, uh, it ain't near as easy as I make it look, so you better be ready. Well, be honest, I'm not real worried about the band. I think we need to find a new place to live. Alright, well, well, what do you got in mind? I think we should move back to the welcome wagon. What? Why in the hell would you want to move back there? Because it's cheap and money's tight right now. Well, I don't give a damn. You think I want to live next to my ex-wife and your ex-boyfriend? Huh? How the hell's that going to work out? Don't you love me? Not that much. Don't you want to make me happy? It's not my first priority, no. Don't you want me to be in your band? When you want. Yeah. Who the hell's turning it to these dishes they should be? <sighs> Shit. <sighs> Leaves me doing the dishes and with the kids and the stupid bitch. 
Ethan. Vicky, I got some bad news. What the fuck is it now? We got some new neighbors. Why the hell would I care? I mean, well, I just thought that would let you know, you know? I mean, but I don't care, you know? Yeah, you care about mm. nothing but yourself. Yeah. Well, those kids' dishes ain't gonna clean themselves, honey. Who's moving in? Who's moving in is Wes and Aaron. Okay, how much is it gonna pay? No, what are you willing to offer? Twenty thousand. Uh, no, no, I, I, twenty. I, I can't let it go for twenty. Twenty thousand sounds more than fair. I think you can. No, no, it, 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 that's not worth it. I think okay, I, thirty thousand. You have yourself a deal. Who killed Mr. Stevens? Was it Vicky? The obvious suspect? Was it Eli? Mr. Stevens' brother? Or was it Holly? Stay tuned to find out. I say everything's gonna be alright.